Hey everybody, what's up? Hope you guys are doing good today and thanks for tuning in to the day one uh, report from Lake Dardanelle here at the Toyota Series Tournament. And um, got some good news and bad news. The good news is, you know, I caught a decent limit today, almost 12 pounds that puts me probably close to being in the top 20 in the tournament. And the bad news is, is man, I lost some really good fish today. I, I should have been way up on the leaderboard. But uh, I'll go into that a little bit, a uh, little bit later here about what happened. But uh, man, this is a pressure-packed day tomorrow. T tomorrow's the last day of the season. I'm, you know, on the bubble for making the Toyota Championship. I'm figuring, just looking at the points, it, it, you know, it depends on who catches them and who doesn't. But I'm thinking in my own mind, I've got to finish in the top 30 here to make the championship. So. You know, I'm in the top 30 right now, and so tomorrow's last day of the season, so it's going to be a pressure-packed day to, to say the least. But I was doing the video for inside the truck here, man. The wind is blowing like 30 out there. I mean, it's blowing like a like a mad dog out there right now. So you guys couldn't hear me if I got out there. But uh, talk about today. I was uh, I was pretty close to the last flight today. Uh, the big news is like the place. This place is fishing so small. It's like I, I can't tell you how many boats I counted today. Everywhere I went, you know, I bounced around in three or four different areas and everybody's just fishing the same water here. They're just rotating the holes. There was this one point that I was fishing across from this one point and, what, and when I pulled up across from the point there, this point was probably 300 yards away. There was a boat on it and I sat on this opposite point for quite a long time. I watched like five boats come and go on that point in less than 30 minutes. That was just 30 minutes. You can't imagine how many, you know, during the course of an eight hour day hit it. So sort of like that everywhere, all the good water's getting pounded. But the deal for me today is, you know, after my practice, you know, I'm, you know, I'm happy to catch a limit, happy to be pretty high up in the standings, but man, I had a chance to really have a nice bag of fish today. The fish, I have never seen the fish biting so funny. It's almost like I didn't have a hook on my bait because it's like it's like I'd hook these fish, they'd either jump off or they'd pull off. And the ones that I caught, like two of my best fish, they came unhooked as soon as, you know, I got the fish in the net. And two of the other ones I weighed in, they weren't even hooked in the mouth. They were hooked like on the outside of the mouth. So it's a, it's almost like and i got thinking about you know why those fish are just swatting at the bait it didn't matter what i threw i threw several different baits single hook baits and treble hook both baits both didn't really matter i think what the deal is is these fish they are so pressured on this lake and they've gotten hammered on so hard that they are just super super timid right now you know they want to feed but you know they've just gotten so much fishing pressure on them that they're just not committing to the bait and like I said, it, you know, if I'd have landed all the bites that I've got today, you know, I'd definitely been in the top five in the tournament, no doubt in my mind. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, it's easy to look back and say that, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to, to get those fish to, to take the bait better. And, you know, I experimented with some different colors, some different profiles, some different speed of retrieve, some different casting angles. Um, when I'd hook a fish, I, I experimented with putting a lot of pressure on them or not much pressure on them, and it didn't matter. It's like anything that I did, I, just, I continued to lose them. So I was fortunate to get the ones in that I did catch because none of them were hooked good. I mean, every fish in my bag today was barely hooked and came in, came, they came, I could just, you know, the hooks just fell out of their mouth when, when you got them in the boat. I've never had a day like that. I've never had a day where I've lost so many fish and the ones that I hooked were barely hooked. Really a really odd thing. And you know, it's not, we've got sort of like a, it's like the second day or so, second or third day after a front, after a pretty bad front. You know, we've got a pretty hard, um, I'm guessing looks, looks, yeah, pretty hard just out of the north right now. Fairly bright bluebird skies you can see out there. Um, decent fishing conditions for the springtime of the year, but um, man, for, for whatever reason, the fish wanted to feed, but they just were not wanting to eat, you know, that type of thing. But I've got to go tonight. I've, tomorrow I'm going to be in the first flight, and I've got to go back and sort of figure out, you know, what are some things that I can do to, like, uh, not only maximize the area that I'm fishing, 
but catch fish, you know, behind some other people in the tournament and figure out if there's anything I can do to get those fish to commit, you know, to the baits that I'm throwing because right now they're not. But, you know, overall, like I said, I, you know, even though it's frustrating to lose those fish, I'm still happy, you know, with the bag I caught. It, you know, I'm in the game, puts me in contention to make the championship tomorrow. Um, if I go out tomorrow and catch a, a good bag of fish, I'll make it. If I don't go out, if I don't catch them tomorrow, I won't make it. It's literally down to the last tournament of the year. So um, anyway, I forgot to put the GoPro on the boat last night, guys. So uh, I didn't get the film today, but tomorrow, but I'm going to get it tonight. I'm going to try to get everything set up on it um, and film tomorrow so you can, guys can sort of see what I'm doing in the tournament after it's over. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go back and get some work done, and um, we'll give you guys a report tomorrow afternoon. Uh, hope you guys are doing good, and thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. See you tomorrow.